Hi everybody, welcome back. Colin here. Uh, today's project is called Next Customer Please and it's a a project where the instructions aren't like other previous instructions. Um, it's more it's more a design type project where you can make your own things for a shop. Um, well, let's get coding, shall we? So let's go over to Raspberry Pi projects. And uh, we're going under the all new paths and it's this middle block at the top and it's next customer, please. And as I said in the introduction, we're basically we're building a game where um, there's an example here. Um, you can buy things and your totals building up at the top. And then um, click on the person, and it tells you how much your shopping is. Would you like to pay or cancel? Uh, yes. And selecting cancel on that one will just make the game continue. So this project isn't one where they tell you exactly what to do so i'm just going to follow along and pretend that i'm um, doing it for uh, myself um, if you need some inspiration there's a the one they've shown you there which is like a space scene there's a shopping scene here where people are buying t-shirts there's another one here where it looks like we're buying ice creams all of these projects you can have a look inside them to see how they've been developed uh, we might look at the, one of the two of those at the end and there's a vending machine here okay use the keypad to choose so i want number two I'm clicking here oh click on the keypad oh, that's quite neat i like that so we're just buying one item at a time here so let's have um, number four Number four costs a hundred, whatever's. And the box has been squashed as it comes down. Okay. So movie ideas. Uh, so uh, moving on, um, what's the idea of your stall? Um, I'm going to go for something completely silly. Um, I'm going to use online scratch, scratch, scratch. And there's a link there that just takes you into the scratch program nothing's been provided and as I normally do I'm going to separate my screen but that bit over on the right this bit over on the left and that was pressing the windows key and left arrow. um so first of all I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a backdrop well let's see how silly I can make mine is there a silly backdrop okay so i'm going to be sitting in a refrigerator and then choose a sprite uh, so sprites are down here and let's have a duck as our sprite shall we i'm going to get rid of the cat because i don't need the cat it's parking down there. So my seller sprite is going to be the duck. Um, oh, I've already done that down here, haven't I? Uh, okay. Up here it's saying choose um, a sprite to add or paint extra scenery on the scene. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Uh, right, so what's the name of your business? So first we're going to create a variable called name. So under variables, make a variable name. Okay. And when the green flag is clicked, we make our program start set name to variables uh, set. 
my name name to and in here we're going to type the name of our little shop uh, cool scores okay that's appeared at the top here i can um, move that around if i want to um, i'm going to leave it at the top there but what i am going to do is i'm going to change it into a large readout Um, if you get a zero in there, just press the green flag because it hasn't started. Cool stores. And we're going to click on the seller. We're going to broad broadcast a message that says next customer. So event. Broadcast message. Next. Let's start. I like to keep my um, all my coding things with uh, complete words. So I've used an underscore in next customer there um, so that uh, it makes it easier if I do if I do programming elsewhere. Uh, the point there is that if you had a space in the middle of it, a computer could get confused and see that as two words. So we're going to create a new script for our seller to say next customer, please um when they receive the broadcast next customer message so um on our seller sprite uh when i receive when i receive next customer say next customer please for two seconds next Customer, please. So I'm going to test as I go along. So press the stop button and click on the green flag. Does it want the green flag? Yep. Press the green flag to start the game off. And my duck says, Next customer, please. Let's have a look at his costumes. He's only got one costume, so we might be able to do a bit of tinkering with uh, the duck in a moment. Uh, save my project. Um, cool stores. And now I'm going to add some things for sale. Um, but we need to keep a count of... Um, how much people have spent so we're going to create another variable called total and we need to reset total to zero when the game starts so under our um green flag because that's how the game starts is on the um um on that block there we're just going to set uh, my variable total to zero just stick it in uh, at the beginning um, I might want to move that down the bottom here uh, yeah, let's put it down the bottom there so it's part of the fridge door um, if you need some any additional hints, there's some drop downs on uh, inside the instructions that will give you extra hints. Um, so now we're going to add some items that um, uh, we're going to add to our store. Um, so uh, first of all, I'm going to pick something from the sprite library. Let's go for fruit salad. Uh, next, the next I was going to, I was going to have a go at making something um, just from uh, scratch. So let's have a, let's have a, a beach ball. Oh, it's a bit big. So let's make it a bit smaller. And I think I'll put some words on the ball. Because the, because the font is the same color as the text, 
um, is the ball. It hasn't. You can't see it. So let's just change that. Okay, and I'm going to rename that one ball. And then the other something else I thought I would do is I would um, get a picture from the internet and add another sprite that way then. So I'm gonna go to a website called Upsplash. Sorry, Unsplash. And let's have a look for, um, a cartoon. And Oh, I'm going to uh, copy the egg here. Um, I can download this for free. Goes in my downloads. So I'm going to save that in my downloads folder. Now if I go back to scratch and then come back to the choose a sprite one and click the upload option. And then go back into my downloads. Uh, that was the egg and open that wow that's a bit big so we need to do some uh, changing on that uh, so I think if I convert it to a vector and then highlight it all I can squash it and resize there is a way that you can get rid of the um, background images, the background color there, but that's not something for today. Um, and let's add some text on him. Uh, egg. Okay, so we've got a fruit salad, a ball and an egg, and let's just add something else. Um, oh, don't know. Okay, so we've got four things in our store. And um, let's add a price to them as well. So fruit salad, let's say a fruit salad. So we click, I've click, clicked on fruit salad. I could um, either, so on the fruit salad one, I'm going to add text to it like we've done on the other one. So... Uh, we also need to say how much it is, don't we? So we'll just get that over there and do another one. Uh, let's say that's 25 whatevers. It's not very visible on my bowl so let's we just um change the color does that jump out more wait to see for it to update on the screen here okay I'm, I'm i'm happy with that so that's the price for the salad uh the donut will do the same thing we'll click down here for the donut and let's just put uh, a price tag on the donut uh 35 It doesn't stand out very much either, does it? So let's go for a... I think for the donut one, I think if I put it just about there... On the base of the donut, there we go. 35. Um, the ball... I think I'm going to do something different for this one. I'm just going to uh, put the price on button. I'm going to do a paint my own. And I'm just going to put uh, the price on here for the ball. And let's say that's uh, 36. 
and then what I can do is well 36 has appeared on there but it just means I can drag it around on the screen and then lastly we'll do the same sort of thing for my egg um, but we're going to make the egg 27 and that's there so I can drag that up onto there so I've got four things in my shop um, salad 25 donut 35 a ball 36 and an egg 27 make it silly so now we need to add us add to the script to change the total by the price of the item we've clicked so for each of these I just simply need to do so for fruit salad uh, back to the code when this item is clicked when this sprite is clicked variable change total by uh, fruit salad was 25 and if you remember from previous exercises we can um, drag that block of code down pop it on to the ball and if I click on the ball that bit of code has been click has been clicked that bit of code has been copied to the ball and just need to update the price there for 36 do the same again drag that to the egg and I said my egg was going to be 27 and lastly copy that onto the donut and the donut is 35 Um, oh, I should have read the next instruction. I'm trying to get us to add a, a, a sound when we, when we buy something. So let's go to our sounds tab. Let's take a sound from the library. And is there a bell? Yep, that will do me so we'll add that and we want to make it play the bell when an item is clicked so back to our code it's going to be sound no no it's going to be sounds play uh, play the bell sound same thing oh maybe um so i've got the egg okay so i've got to i've got to download the sound for each file Or is there a way around that? Hmm. Okay, so I've got to do the same thing for each one. So I just need to come over here, uh, click on here, bell. I tell you what, let's have a different sound for each thing, shall we? Uh, let's have a doorbell for uh, buying the egg. Bell. Uh, on the ball sound is there a bouncing sound oops and here uh, bounce like a boing B -O -I. Oh, it's a boing boing Okay, and then the fruit salad. I think there's a. I know there's a chomp sound. Okay, so we've got a sound for all our items. Um, what I'd like to do now is just make sure that um, um, that the total is going up 
um, by the right amount. So I'm going to press the reset button. That should turn everything back to zero. If I click on the egg, the total should go up by, by, 20, up to, by 27. And that does. And then if your maths is any good, we're going to click on the ball. So it should now go up to 62 because that's 27 plus 36. Yeah. In fact, 63. Can't do math, Colin. And then add another 25 onto that. So that's 88. We're going to have to click on the salad. And then lastly, the donut up by another up by another 35. So that's 123. Okay. My donut looks a little bit on the big side. So um, click on the donut. Costumes. Oops. Oh no, change the size here by um. 75 okay so because i did four things in one go we can skip the next part i hope you're making your own mind up what to do and um, what to do and then there's some debugging problems here so um, if you're um uh if you're if when you click on something it doesn't go by the right amount of money check check that you've got the right value of the item you check that first of all check first that the sprite is clicked and then check that you've got the right amount for the price in the in the change total box okay save now So the seller now needs to ask, so then we need a way of finishing our, our game. And um, so we can add another sprite. So um, that when we click it, it's going to say that will be and how much the total is. Um, do I add another sprite or do I just click on my duck? Uh, I'm going to add a box at the top. So I'm just going to add a uh, oh, that button. Oh, it's a bit boring colour-wise, isn't it? Oh, let's take, take that one. Put that up here. I'm going to add some text onto that button. Okay, here. The idea being that once you've finished all your um shopping you just click on this icon and it will tell you how much it is getting, getting a bit of trouble with my colors today a little bit dark okay and uh, so on this one we get on on the uh, pay here button go back to the code and when this sprite is clicked say Uh, looks say and we've got to join some text and a number together so we haven't seen this one before so in the um operators uh, code blocks there's a join so we can say join uh, that your shopping costs And then in the second box, we can bring in our, vari our variable for total. I'll just pop that in there. And then just drag all of that into uh, the first box there. So when I click on that now, your shopping costs £228. Or whatever currency we're using, which is down the bottom there. Okay. Add a payment sound to your seller for Sprite so that the customer knows payment is being taken. Um, so uh, let's have another sound. Is there a ching sound? Ching. I tell you what, I'm going to record my own. So to do that, to record my own ching sound. 
uh, go to sounds, press the record button. Uh, computer's going to ask you um, for permission to use the microphone. So I'm going to say allow. And I can check my volume level on the left hand side there. And if I press record, ching. And I can adapt that a little bit and save that. And then let's just do a little test on that. Ching. Okay, could be a little bit louder, maybe. Ching, 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 ching. Okay, let's give it a name. And now back to my code on my on the um, pay here button sprite. Uh, sound play ching sound until done. Ching. Let's put that above the top there, shall we? Let's um I'm gonna use that one so it plays the sound and we'll just carry on with the ching. Okie doke. And oh uh, in their instructions, they say they've done it the, the other way around. All right, let's do what they've said. So I'm going to use a play ching sound until done. Then I'm going to reset the total to zero. And then say thank you for shopping and then broadcast next customer. So looks, say... Oh, another join blocks that was under operators. Thanks for visiting. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do two. I'm going to use two of those. I'm going to duplicate that. So I'm going to say uh, thanks for visiting, and then bring in the store name. And then put today there afterwards. So this will say, this message will say, thanks for visiting cool stores today. Ah, um, it's joined things exactly as I wrote it in there. So what I should do is I should put a space on the end of visiting and a space in front of today to pad it out. If I click on that again. Yes, that comes up with the name of our store. So just pop that into there and then broadcast next customer. There's um, some extra options you can add in if you want to put in like a, are you sure type thing, but I'll let you tinker with that. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna test my program works all the way through. So just make it big, press the green flag, Next customer, please. I'm going to have salad. And that's got my 25. Salad twice. All. So it looks like everything is working as I'd expect it to. Now, last time I play, if I press play, hit pay here. Your shopping shipping Ching. shopping costs 148. Thanks for visiting today, and it started off again. It's a little bit fast there, wasn't it? When when the um next customer came up. So what we could do is well, I change that to three seconds. But I'd rather have a little uh, wait. 0.5 just to make it a little bit Ching. yeah okay so there's um some uh, debugging hints here so debugging is when something doesn't work as you'd expect it to so if there's anything there that doesn't work as you want it to there could be some clues there um, I'm going to make sure I just save my project now. 
um, additional features. So there's lots of things we could do in our project. So we could add in something like that. Um, a special reward for the 50th customer. Um, we can, um, if you see something in these other projects here that you want to bring into your project, you can use the backpack. So let's say you wanted to copy this code to another project. If you drag that there, and then drop it down behind the backpack. Um, then all the code that's there will appear down here that you can then you reuse in another project. I'm just going to I'm just going to delete them from down there. So I've just thought of an idea. I might like to say I might like to count the number of items that are coming up in my in my shopping basket so to do that i need to create a new variable uh, make a variable let's call it item count um, i don't think we really need it on the screen so i can just um i can hide that so when the green flag is clicked uh, the duck's got the main control uh, when the deep green um, flag is clicked hide variable item count and that's it hidden but what i need to do then though is i need to set item count to zero so it's initialized to be zero and then each time our items are um, clicked we need to add the change item count by one. So I'm just going to drag that over there, drag another one over there, drag another one over there. So pop that on the bottom of my code, pop that on on there. Oh, the ball didn't have a sound on it. Ah. Thought that was strange. Boing. Okay, so go back to my code. Uh, sound play boing and my fruit salad didn't have a sound on it either chomp okay dodgy coding by Colin today and add that count back in on um, the donut And now what we need to do is we need to change the code on the button. Um, so we need another one of those um, join blocks. Uh, your item count is variable and item count pop that in there and add another one your item count is blah 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 If I just grab hold of that, pop that in there, and just add in there, and your shopping costs total, and pop that back in there, and then we need to do another set item count to zero in there. Okay, let's just test that. Uh, make it big. So I'm going to go for four eggs. One, two, three, four. Press pay here. Well, your four Ching. item, your item. Okay, that went a bit fast, but it did say four items. Let's try um, four, two. Ching. Oh, I didn't click one of them. 
Let's try just doing one at a time. Donut, A here, that's one item. You need to sort that um, formatting out there. Click on salad, pay here, one item. Ching. Boing. Full 36, one item. Ching. And we know the egg works, so that's fine. So I'm just going to change that formatting on here. I had an extra space in there. And I needed to put a space in front of the and there. So that it looks uh, it reads it Ching. reads it looks normal. Okay. There's a lot of other ideas on here that uh, you might want to include in your um, project. The Cool Shirts project has shirts that glide into the bag. So as you click on things, they glide into a bag. bag. Um, you can see how that's done in that project. Um, ice Cream One has options to be chosen. Uh, OK. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this project so you can see it. And the way I do that is press share. Cool stores, give it a name by Colin. Colin's uh, cool store or live co. Shop responsibly. And to share it, oh, it's now shared. Um, so I need to copy that link there and I'll put that in the instructions. If you want to leave a comment on there, uh, feel free to do so. I hope you enjoyed yourself on that project and uh, the next one we're going to create is a is a um, an obstacle or platform parkour game called Don't Fall In. See you in the next video. Bye.